we look at the long-term opportunities, five years from now, yes, if we don't do projects like this, we will absolutely miss opportunities. Today, the state of Texas produces three million barrels of crude oil per day using round numbers. We're projecting over the next five to 10 years to expand that to five million barrels of crude oil per day. The country, which is around nine and a half million barrels, may go to 12, 13. Where are those extra barrels gonna go? Well, the increase in demand is all in Asia. 50% of the world's increase of demand is gonna come from just the Asia markets alone. The first year that this project's completed would be an additional $35 billion annual economic impact on the state of Texas. We're in a situation now with the Eagleford and Permian shell plays that we have the ability to produce larger quantities of oil and gas. We need to have a way to get that product to other places. It will allow the larger tankers to come in, so I think it, uh, it provides opportunities, one, to get them in here, get them turned around and get back out, uh, delivering that oil to the four corners of the earth. The vessels that you see coming to this port today will hold anywhere from 300 to 550 thousand barrels of oil, the ones that we're trying to get in here will hold upwards of 2.2 million. The one that came in here the other day as a test uh, went to Venezuela, loaded in Venezuela, and it has just arrived in China, uh, you know, with a full load of 2.2 million barrels of oil. Over the long term, this expansion project may be felt more in areas like Lubbock and Midland and Snyder than they will be here in Corpus Christi. The short-term impacts here, obvious. The jobs just in the construction process alone. But when you look 10 years down the road and the guys in Lubbock or in Amarillo who are producing relatively low amounts of natural gas because prices are $2.60 of BTU, well, if we can open up export capacity to places like Europe and Japan and China, at six and seven dollars a BTU, they're gonna feel that there more than the people in Corpus are gonna feel it. My mission down here is to help make sure that we're expanding the opportunities for all the things that we do regulate. The oil and gas wells, the pipelines, making sure that those economics are strong because there's opportunities for those products to go somewhere and how that production will contribute to the expansion project here at the port.